One day, Kirby saw his favorite food, a bright red tomato. It's Kirby! It's Kirby! Go and focus. Thank you. Kirby's cool and nice, and I like him a lot. Huge fan of the guy. I love, the, I love me some Kirby. This is my friend Kirby, and I like him very much, and I thought I'd share some things I really like about him, because he's a great little guy. I mean, he no, really needs no introduction. You've probably heard of him. He's real, he's kind, he's nice. First thing I probably would let people know about Kirby is, he's just a little guy. It says in the game's manual for the first game that Kirby is a little boy, and that's, look at him. He's probably like 10 trillion years old, but he's just lovely. He's just the guy, he's just a nice little guy. He's also a fashion icon. He likes to wear several different kinds of hats of all sorts of kind. He can take anybody's abilities if he inhales them, and then he gets a hat representing them. I think he'd get a shitty little beard if he inhaled me, and he'd become really annoying. Another thing I love about Kirby is he's, he's always hungry. He always wants a little piece of the pie, like a stack of pancakes or like some kind of egg tart or like a little apple pie or like he, uh, any other kind of pie. I don't know why that's the focus. He's, he loves it. He's, he has a, a big strawberry in my mouth. That's him. That's what he likes. A lot of people don't realize he's actually quite a dark anti-hero. Most of the games you'd think would start off with something bad has happened. Kirby's coming to save the day. But normally it's like someone's taking a sandwich or something like that. He also has a lot of really good mates and friends and pals. He's got a really, he's got a big penguin friend who he used to fight. But now they're like pals, they're like dudes. They're like, um... I knew I heard the sound of sucking around here somewhere. They're like real good blokes together. They pop down local, they go down pub, chug a few, um, glasses of red wine with the mums. He's also got his mate who's really edgy, who's Metanite, who probably like harasses gothy girls online. So he's a great chat on the phone. I don't know if you've heard of that. He's, yeah, he's got loads of pals and mates and friends. He also like hates Waddle Dees like with a passion unless one of them's wearing a bandana. So he likes Waddle Dees if they listen to Eminem, you know, something like that. One of my favorite features of Kirby is he has these red little booties. These are the red Octobers right here. Yeezy's all on your sofa. These are the red Octobers. They're brilliant. I think it, it just shows that he's got massive feet that are way bigger than his entire arms. Don't look up Kirby toes because I'm going to suck on them. My nails are still dry, and that was a really bad mistake. Another thing is he's he's God. He conquers gods. He just, like, he starts off because someone took his sandwich, and by the end of each game, he's like, yeah, I'm just going to, uh, like, annihilate Buddha. Bit much, in my opinion. But you got to do what you got to do. If someone took my Tesco meal deal, I'd be pretty upset, too. I think he's very progressive. He is a little boy, but if you look very closely, you might notice he's got no cock. So as you can see, this is Kirby. If you look at the anatomy here, might notice, no cock, no cock present, but he's a little boy. Great that he chooses to identify as a little boy, even though he's clearly probably got not what he needs to be medically considered that. But he's like, hell yeah, that's good, he's progressive, all for that. Most importantly, he's quite rotund. He's quite round, he's quite spherical, he's good. You put your fingers in his eyeballs and um, just bowl him down the alley and you know, he, he know he'd strike a nice clean nine. Nice car. In my opinion, he's perfect. I bet he listens to Radiohead, you know?